Hey guys, welcome back to Call of Cubes. So today we are going to learn the intermediate Ortega method for the 2 by 2 Rubik's Cube. So quickly what this method is that we are going to make one layer. So layer means that we are going to do any color irrespective of the layer which we do in the beginners method of the 2 by 2 Rubik's Cube. So we are going to do the color which is the major. So I have blue over here and the piece over there and I'm done with one face. And now we are going to set of algorithms to do the blue's opposite color which is green. So we are going to do a set of algorithms to complete the opposite face so that goes like this and then we are going to do another set of algorithms to orient all the layers that is between the two colors so that goes like this and let's get into the tutorial so as the first step I have done with one face color that is white so that will be much easier so white's opposite is yellow so for the first few set of algorithms that we will be doing the opposite layer we are going to just look for the colors so in this case we have yellow so for this case we have yellow on the top layer at one so we're going to make sure that it comes to the bottom left corner and we have yellow over here and yellow over here and yellow over here so that goes in an anti-clockwise direction so for this case we'll do the algorithm as this that completes it so this is just a mirrored case of the first case so what we're gonna do we have a uh, yellow over here and if the yellow is over to the bottom right and if the yellow is and if the yellow color is on and if the yellow color on the top layer is towards the bottom right corner and we have yellow 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 going in a clockwise direction we'll do this algorithm And for this case when you have a bar of yellow on the top layer and again a bar facing to the opposite direction of the bar over here in the second layer then you should do this algorithm. So this is similar to the last case but we have a bar in the second layer and no colors of yellow on the top layer but you have a color of yellow and yellow facing opposite to each other then you have a new case and that goes like this okay for this case of the violet what we are gonna do is that we have two yellow colors adjacent to each other and you have cases like this we are gonna make sure that we're gonna face this yellow towards us and do the algorithm So for this second layer algorithm when you manage to find a bar of yellow to the top layer and but you have a yellow over here and a yellow over there. So what we are going to do is that we are going to do this algorithm. And an alternative algorithm for this case is. So once you are done with the first layer and the second layer what we are going to do is that we are going to do again a set of algorithms to permit all the two layers in between these two colors. So the first case is that we have only one bar and we don't have any bars in the rest of the colors. So this is the first case and we are going to do it like this. So for the next case when you have a bar in one layer and again a bar in another layer what we are going to do is that we are going to make sure that we place both the bars together facing you and do the algorithm that goes like this okay so you have managed to do the first two layers but you can't find any bars in both the layers then you have this algorithm which is the easiest one Okay, so when you have a bar completely on one layer and you manage to find one in the top layer, then this is just a JPERM algorithm and that goes like this.
so this case is kind of similar to the last case what we have done so when you have managed to find one bar along one layer and but you can't find any other bar and you have like l like thing all over the place then this is just a y perm in 3 by 3 and it goes like this So with the auto tracker method you can definitely have solves for under 5 seconds with great practicing. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye, keep cubing.